want to look at derivatives of logarithms of some more complicated functions. So just for review, if y is equal to log of x, the derivative of y with respect to x is just 1 over x. But if y is equal to the log of u, where u is some other function of x, then the derivative with respect to x is 1 over u times the derivative of u. That's the chain rule applied to the formula for derivatives of logarithms. So uh, y equals logarithm of some argument here, it's one, it's the derivative is 1 over that argument times the derivative of the argument. So let's see how that works. Suppose f of x is equal to natural log 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. Well, this right here, this part, is the u part. It's some other function of x. So when I do that derivative, it's just 1 over that u, which is 5x squared plus 2x minus 7, times the derivative with respect to x of that argument, 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. So that's going to be 1 over 5x squared plus 2x minus 7 times, I differentiate this by just differentiating like I would because it's a polynomial. So it's going to be 10x plus 2 minus 0. And then I can simplify that a little bit by writing it as 10x plus 2 all divided by 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. And then you could look around here for factors of each of those, see if you could reduce to lowest terms, but we'll just leave it like that. Now, this step right here, as you get better at this, this is a step that you kind of do in your head. As you get better at this, you'll just go right from this expression right here to its derivative down here. You'll go 1 over u, and then you'll differentiate u. 10x plus 2, then you might do some simplifying after that. So, by the chain rule, the derivative of log u, 1 over u, times du dx. We have to differentiate that argument, so we don't want to forget that.